as the ball disappears into the hole. That is the magic number. There's nothing quite like it. The Ryder Cup 2023, live from Rome. Brought to you on BBC Radio 5 Live. This is Five Live Sports with Kelly Case on Five Live. Listen on BBC Sounds. And this is the sound of the Etihad Stadium where Manchester City came from behind to beat Red Star Belgrade 3-1. We'll be reflecting on Newcastle's return to the Champions League shortly, as well as a dramatic night for Celtic. As for Chris Paul and Chris Sutton watched the holders this evening, as did former Manchester City midfielder Michael Brown, who has joined us. Uh, Michael, there was a bit of a scare, if you could call it that, in the first half when Red Star got their goal, but it was very comfortable but Manchester City in the end. Yeah, they had me scared, Kelly. I was listening to the commentary. They were sort of egging it on and encouraging it a little bit, as you know, Chris probably <laughs> would like to do, just to set the drama, to set the scene. But obviously Red Star delivered, and then it was all about the reaction. Obviously Pep Guardiola was, was forced to make his substitution just before half-time, losing Bernardo Silva, yet another injury. But as against West Ham, you know, start the second half very, very quickly. I don't know what he says at half time, but he certainly gets that reaction, obviously, to get that goal and then from then on, very, very comfortable, control the second half. Just looking at the amount of possession, the amount of shots were incredible in the Champions League game and yes, still a way to work there, but, but overall, you could see it really that we are going to come through the game, the class was going to tell, and obviously, was able to make a few substitutions later on in the game as well because he's going to have to look at that with the amount of games going forward, um, especially Lena, they're just speaking to Ali, towards that Arsenal game, the games before that, they look relatively comfortable for a Manchester City. They do look relatively comfortable for, for Manchester City, but then pretty much every game looks comfortable for Manchester City at, at the moment. And Chris, it, it was slightly uncomfortable, as, as we've been hearing from Michael there in the, in the first half, but for City, it was, what, 22 shots in the first half and 37 in total. They were peppering that Red Star goal. Yeah, that, that's a lot of shots, isn't it? Um, I mean, they, they missed a couple of really easy opportunities, really, for, for players of you know, Harlan's calibre and... Uh, there and it is. And missed. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. In three seconds, I was counting. I was waiting for you to say Harlan. <laughs> I was looking <laughs> for <laughs> that. Uh, it's normally a Harlan <laughs> positive, isn't it? Yes. I mean, you know, he... he the good thing about him, he still keeps getting in the positions. But this last few days has been a little bit unlike him. You know, the chances he missed it the first time, they normally bury. And then Foden missed it. And it wasn't one of those when Red Star took the lead. You, you know, you thought, is it going to be one of those nights?